Hey friends, on today's video, we are going to be looking at how to install this USB MIDI cable from Amazon. It's a pretty simple process, but there is a couple of small tricks. So let's do it right now. Now I'm going to be installing this in a keyboard with MIDI outs. And this is designed for pianos that have that MIDI out. And then obviously we want USB over to our laptop so we can record in programs like GarageBand. You can see that here are some quick features for this specific cable. Again, it was fairly cheap on Amazon, so I will link this in the description box below if you wanna purchase one for yourself. But the installation process, we ran into a very interesting trick that you have to do. So let's go over to my electronic keyboard and I'll show you how to install it. Okay, here is our electronic piano. You can see we hooked up some speakers and a little uh, MIDI input for our microphone so we can record in this space. And then here is our USB cable. So it's got this kind of cool uh, red coloring. It is a nice long cable, so you do get some good space that it can stretch out to. You have your little uh, transformer box here for the signal to go from MIDI into USB. So again, on first inspection, this is good quality, good wiring. Uh, again, it was, it was fairly cheap, so this is uh, definitely worth the money, but the installation process, again, has that trick. So here's what I'm going to show you. On these, and again, I'm not sure if this is a Chinese product or if this is just what they thought they needed to do. Uh, you've got MIDI in, and over here on this one, we've got MIDI out. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like underneath the electronic piano here as far as outputs go for MIDI. Okay, so we are currently underneath the piano. And as you can see, I've got this MIDI out. You got the throughput, and then you've got the out and the in uh, outputs here. Uh, we also had to flip our switch over here to the MIDI configuration. Now, the thing that you'd assume is that you just match up those ends. You basically do the MIDI in right here, MIDI out right here that on those labels. And that's where I ran into problems. You actually have to switch those for some reason. So let me pop them in. I'll show you what you need to do. Okay, so what you can see here is we have the MIDI out plug. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that one over here into our MIDI in. So out goes to in. Now let me grab the other one here. Okay, here's MIDI in. This one is going to go into the out position. We're gonna put it in like that. So again, it's basically just opposite. I'm not sure why they did this, but that's how it is supposed to go. And then you'll be able to get signal into your computer. Okay, so here is our setup. You can see the cables coming out. They run down to the little uh, signal transformer, which is blinking right now. And this comes up and we've placed it right into our MacBook Air here in the USB port. So again, I've got the sound coming out of the piano, but you can see that getting uh, input. In fact, if I hit the record button here, let's do this. You can see that we are getting MIDI signal. Let me go and stop that. So that is, again, how you do it. As long as you input that uh, correctly, configure it correctly on the bottom there, I really do like this product. I think it's been great. Great ability to get this specific keyboard with nice weighted keys into GarageBand. Friends, if this has helped, hit that thumbs up button. Buy uh, this product if you want through our link um, on Amazon down in the description box below. And subscribe because we have a bunch more tech video tutorials that are coming up really, really soon. Thanks so much for watching.